Welcome back to Under the Lights. We're bringing you all the action from the first round of playoffs. Now, Ryan, Orland has run all over teams this season. Yes, they've been impressive. And the Trojans, they earned the top seed in Division Three after going undefeated. They're looking to keep that streak alive against eighth seed Live Oak. Here's opening kickoff on a beautiful night out in Orland. Now fast forward to the Trojans' first possession. Quarterback Grant Foster doing what he does best. He bolts down the sideline for a quick 40-yard score. A missed PAT, though, so 6 nothing Orland. Trojans back on offense. This time it's running back Jaime Alboron. Follows his lead blocker, leaps over the defender into the end zone, and it was all Orland tonight. Here's Alboron again, weaving through the defense. No problem there getting into the end zone. He looks around, sees no one even close to them. Yeah, that's because you're so quick, Jaime, that's why. 20 to nothing Orland at this point. The Trojans take care of business 46 to eight. Orland now 11 and 0, and on to the Division Three semifinals. Now over to Durham, the Trojans hosting Willows in the Division 4 bracket. The Honkers first playoff appearance since 2019. And Durham holding the American flags as a Veterans Day tribute. Slow offensive start, or start that is. Durham Weston Stumball rolls out near side, launching it deep down the field. Jake Luckwitz unable to come up with a catch. Great athleticism though. Stumball trying again on the far side. The Honkers Tristan Bobadilla picks it off and stays on his feet. Look at the agility right there. Setting them up with great field position. Now Fernando Garcia pitching it to Bryson Rodriguez. Little trick play, a big pass right there. There's Danny Galvin. Unable to score on that possession though, but Galvin finishes the job on defense, comes up with the pick, an incredible pick six, taking it to the house. But Durham Stumball hands it off to Gavin Keene, taking it in for the easy touchdown right here. Durham was up seven to six at the half. They held Willow scoreless though in the second half to win 28 to six. The Trojans back in the section semifinals for the second straight year. And we've seen so many exciting plays so far tonight, but here's a look at our two nominations for play of the week. It's time for Action News Now, play of the week. Play A comes from Biggs at Los Molinas. Biggs running back number 24, Davis Long, bursts through the hole and takes this one all the way to the house. My oh my sweet cherry pie, 68 yard touchdown. You'll see a little more from that game a little later. Play B is from Shasta High School quarterback Campbell Parker with plenty of time here and he lets it fly to receiver Braxton Fleming. The senior beats both Chico defenders and sprints in for the touchdown. That's a 51 yard play. And you can vote for your favorite play on our website actionnewsnow.com. Find the sports tab and click play of the week. Voting opens at midnight tonight. We'll announce the winner Wednesday at 6 o'clock. And we already saw Pleasant Valley earn a huge win tonight, Ryan. A lot of that success is thanks to their offensive line. Yeah, and that's why we're shouting out Pleasant Valley's offensive line as the Golden Apple Insurance Protecting Your Assets Offensive Line of the Night. Here, take a look. We'll slow it down for you right here. There's Gabe Gerritsen, Joe Crowley making some key blocks, but Thatcher Damon and Tyson Thompson getting to the second level, making some big blocks for Parker Williams. Easy touchdown right there. Fourth seed Hamilton looking to win its seventh straight game and earn a trip to the section semifinals, but fifth seed Pierce stands in the Braves' way. Plus, Biggs traveled up 99 to face Los Molinas. We'll take you there next. It's time for Action News Now Band of the Week. But first, take a listen to our Band of the Week from Pleasant Valley. We'll let them take us out. 